Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be starting a fun project. If I take, I've got the solar panel here and I've got actually three more and I'm going to be installing these in my main primary solar setup area to replace the three mismatched panels that I have and to kind of make it all look a lot better. We're going to put a wooden frame around all these panels and rewire everything. That way everything is a lot more efficient because the winter is coming up and I'm going to need more power in the winter because I have some fun ideas coming up uh, for like heaters and that kind of thing. So I'm really hoping that I can get some good quality power in there and more power that I'm getting now. So we'll have about 400 watts of power coming in and that should cover me in the winter overnight for heat because it does get pretty cold here in the winters and having the heat is going to be very nice um, for the, I guess, lifespan of my equipment and to ensure that everything um, does not get too cold for certain devices that may require certain temperatures to operate, I want to make sure I stay within the operating temperature. Now I realize in the opposite direction in the summer, I actually don't try to stay in a certain temperature because it's too much work for me to figure out how to cool it all down out there. So. I guess um, I really only care about the winter specifically just because of how cold it gets. Right now I'm actually putting these brackets on the solar panels and these are all Renogy solar panels. I'm putting the brackets on here to hold um, the panels up so that I can screw this into the wooden frame that we are building and I will do this on all four of the solar panels. So I'm going to get started with this. We'll be back once that's done. So the next step of this project was to lay out the solar panels, put the mounts on them and finally set them up all together. Uh, we cut up some 2x4s to make it kind of kind of structurally sound, as you can see. Uh, it's a pretty solid frame that we built. Um, it looks nice, especially from the underside. It's really solid. The solar area was really dirty, so I cleaned it up, uh, weed whacked, that kind of thing, got rid of the old panels, and yeah, so let's take it from here. So this is the aftermath of the solar panels that have been removed from the area. You can see there's a lot of overgrown things nearby, some plants and that kind of stuff taken over the area so we're going to clean it up today right here is the new solar panel that's going in there will be two of these units over here are the three old ones you can see the mounts were not as nice as the new ones so I'm really hoping that these new ones last a lot longer but I guess only time will tell so this is the progress update right now we'll be back with more updates all right guys so this is what the final setup looks like we got the four panels out we have up to 400 watts of power this is the box. The posts have finally been trimmed down around the back. You'll see there's actually space to walk around. We've got the ethernet cord that goes to the point-to-point -point link to receive the internet data over here. If I open up the box here, we can take a look at how much power we're producing. It is a very sunny day at the moment. Open this up. The box is pretty toasty. Looks like we are doing about eight amps, 8.1 amps on both of them. So you'll see that actually one of these connectors does go to one set of solar panels, one goes to the other. So we're actually producing a total of 16 amps of power right now, which is phenomenal. This should be able to give us plenty of power um, overnight, throughout the day, etc. I have no idea how much power we're pulling at this point, but um, majority of the power does come from this cable right here, because that's what actually outputs to the point-to-point -point link, the receiver for this setup, as well as the transmitter for the next setup. Um, since they're kind of all daisy chained together. So um, I'm really pleased to see that these are actually working as expected now. Previously, I was only ever utilizing one of these um, MPPTs, but now I'm using actually both of them at once and they can produce their own power depending on panels. Um, it kind of makes it more efficient, I think, because the panels technically aren't all in the exact same position, so they are going to get different amounts of sun. But because of that, if I have two different charge controllers, um, that actually increases my efficiency, increases the total production I'm able to do because um, I believe these MPPTs only do about 10 amps each or something like that. So uh, by me splitting it up between two, I'm actually able to get more capacity out of those. So I'm really pleased with this. Uh, I got the ubiquity access point still plugged in here, I think. So I'm able to get Wi-Fi out here whenever. So um, yeah, that's about it for this. And that's about it for this video. So if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. There's more content coming soon related to this. I'm actually going to be upgrading my transmitting point-to-point um, -point setup. I'm going to be putting some panels out there and putting a battery out there as well. So if you want to see more of that kind of stuff, like I said, subscribe, like the videos, um, leave a comment down below with any suggestions of things you want changed. But other than that, that is about it for this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.